dribble up baseline, kick it out for a 15-footer by Fitzy, and Bucknell has its first field goal of the night. And Bryant has all three of the points. And a man for Columbia, long three by Haas is, and go! That will lift the lid. Frazier will pitch it to Fitzy on the right baseline. Bryant goes with a tough hook shot. Got it over the rim in the end. Tough move, left-hander. Casper Cock, give it up top for a Brackney pull and shoot three. And go! Where would Buckdale be without Haas's and now Brackney's three-pointers? Lions 18, Bicey 11, 6-17 remaining first half. Buckdale will throw it deep to Fitzpatrick. Give it back to Casper, kick it in the corner to Haas, dribble baseline, draw triple coverage, throw it off the glass with the right hand on the left baseline. And Chris has five, but Buckdale's now 13 points. It's Patrick dribbling the ball, gives it over to Ayers, pull up 15-footer, got it! 11 to shoot, that's a good, normal Cam Ayers type shot. Loves that pull up jumper. Tough luck, pull up three, the other end for Haas. Bingo! Chris Haas has eight! And the Bison trail by four again. It's a screen by Fitzpatrick. Now pulls up for a 15-footer, rainbow shot, and Cam has four. Again, the Cam Ayers we all know and love. Give it to Casper underneath Fitzpatrick for a turning shot. The whirling dervish does it again. So he off the glass with the right hand this time. They played him to his left. He went to his right and has seven points. Bison could take their first lead since 17 minutes left in this game. See if he'll do it. Bounce at the Fitzy right baseline. He'll power in with a left hand layup. And Bucknell has the lead as Fitzy has done. Time out, Lions. They'll go to a full time now with 18. Remaining, it's the Bison 26 and the Lions 25. 18 to shoot for Buckdale. Casper quickly off the screen, gets it over to Haas, right corner. Power in for a right hand layup. Wow, what a move by Chris Haas. He now has regained the scoring edge against Columbia. He has 10. See what they do here. He'll tax with a bounce pass for a reverse layup by Hoffman. Although at least get to with this lineup as we're all down to 31. Judge underneath Osikowski. Back on the floor against the smaller hop and draws a double. Ball back loose. He'll go back door. And Hill was anticipating and will steal it for Bucknell. Nice and first time they've had the ball in the lead. Ayers will take it to the glass. Draw contact. Got the court. And he was out. He was out. He was out. He was out. He was deep. He was deep. Put it all together once it's spelled, folks. Well, if you're a Bucknell fan, you would say, foul down. Yes. Fouled indeed. Bison with the ball in the 36-31 lead. And this lineup has produced points, folks. Actually rebounds, defense, you name it. Hoffman will hand it off to Azanero. He hasn't scored. He'll give it out to Hill. He'll penetrate. Fly layup is too hard. No good. Rebound taken away by Columbia. Ball is loose at half court. It's stolen by Frazier. He'll take it to the hole. He'll give it off for a layup. It's up no good for the foul. Bison 39, Lions 38. Like he'll end in the field goal in forever. Bison good with 14 to shoot. Hill draws double coverage. Kicks it out for a Brackney three. Ask Mr. Birdsong, and Mr. Brackney responds. He has two threes tonight, six and 12 against Kent State. Give it over to Hill right side. 10 to shoot in the lane. Baseline, jumper by Fitzy. Goal! It's Patrick has 14 in the Bison go up. 46 41. It's Patrick will hand it off at the head of the circle to Hill. Hill will dribble off to his left as. He'll bounce it to Fitzpatrick with 15 to shoot. And off to Hill up top. Ryan, jab, step, crossover, kick at baseline. Jumper by Fitzy is gone again! He went left baseline, he went right baseline. The result the same. Jumpers go in the hole. Marion that twitched. 16 points tonight for Ryan Fitzpatrick, which ties what he scored in the entire game Wednesday against Kent State. Hill penetrates, nearly carried the ball. So back it out with 13 to shoot. He'll go in the lane, lay up, up, and good! He was fouled! Da, da, da! Yes! Da, indeed! Hill has his first field goal, a throw by, and the foul is number 12 on the Lions. And it's on number 12. Aldo Lowe is second. Well, the Bucknell Bison trailed 25-22 at the half, but the Bison will take a road, or a road around, a uh, roll of Bucknell faithful.
as they will be congratulated for a hard-fought victory. The final score here tonight from Soika Pavilion in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. It was the Rockdale Bison 57, the Columbia Lions 52.